we made it to New Hampshire. We're kind of heading towards Cape Cod because we've been to Mass and Boston plenty of times, but never to Cape Cod. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Kayla and I found this nice little rest area, but it's like a strip mall like it's got like a wine and liquor outlet probably gonna check out get some more screwball whiskey but it's a really nice place it's still pretty loud slept a little better last night not as not as good as I probably could <laughs> decided to take another little detour. What are we seeing, John? Well, on the way to Cape Cod, we realized that we passed by Plymouth, Massachusetts. And obviously, if you're passing by Plymouth, you have to check out the Mayflower 2. And Plymouth Rock, of course. At the next stop on our journey, we made it to Cape Cod, the Atlantic Ocean. We called an audible. It wasn't really on our agenda, but figured why not. us all day but we finally found a lighthouse. You can't come to Cape Cod without seeing a lighthouse. We tried to go to the lighthouse at Ray's Point on Cape Cod but you have to deflate your tires and be able to get a pass. It was at least $50. You have to have a permit. Yeah, $50 for at least a week so we decided against that one and finally found this one which is Highland Point. like 100 degrees last night and neither one of us got really any sleep the fan that we bought 
lasted eight hours, but we turned it on at like 8.30 last night, which means it shut off at like 4.30. But I need coffee. So on the west coast, we found where four states meet. It's called the Four Corners Monument, where Arizona, New Mexico, Utah. Colorado, and Utah all meet. And here on the east coast, we found almost the same thing. It's called the Tri-State Marker because it's where three states meet. It's Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. A little bit of a hike to get to it, but it's 9 a.m. Start the day off right. There's a bridge. Here we go. Take that C's turn. Good. Mm -hmm. Look at that booty. <laughs> you guys finally get the John booty. This is sketchy AF boy. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? <laughs> this for a piece of stone <laughs> that we can't find oh golly look what we got ahead of us huh it's not at the top of that we're turning around it is i see it hey all right got connecticut on this side dead pale on this side rhode island on this side nothing Right here. On this at <laughs> and then mass. Yeah, boy. Oh, it's definitely a hike getting here. They said it was like 0.3 miles. No way. We just hiked all that to the tri-state marker. I decided I needed some protein to fuel up. Got some apples and peanut butter. And what do you have, John? It's all about priorities. So this is a lake with the longest name of any geographical feature in the United States. It's got 45 letters and 14 syllables, and this is how it's pronounced. Char gaga gog man chaga gog chow bunna gungamog. <laughs> 